some of us in the in the office had kind of started doing some fast packing. The requirements for a pair of shorts to go fast packing in are a little bit different than just a pair of shorts to go running. Kind of felt like it would be it would be really great if we could have a, an ideal pair of running shorts, but that same pair of shorts we would be very comfortable taking into the backcountry for, you know, two, three days, very remote with, with a fast pack. We were using, you know, running shorts that are currently on the market from a bunch of other brands that are already out there see things we like see things we we definitely don't like kind of formulated uh, a list of objectives or design requirements that we wanted this pair of shorts to accomplish started putting together a, a design we'd get a prototype try it on for fit go for a few runs and uh, there's all kinds of things to take into consideration like how long the inseam is the waistband how big the leg opening is how tight or how loose they are the rise, you know, where it sits on, on the waist or the hips. That's where a lot of the focus was for the first two or three prototypes, as well as kind of the, the search for the right fabric. It's a polyester fabric. It's a stretch woven, dries really quick, provides good stretch. It's a very lightweight fabric, DWR treatment for a little bit of water resistance. We're offering two models of the shorts, the standard model, and then we offer a, a brief liner option as well. On the lined version, we use a very lightweight and breathable jersey type mesh. And it's also very fast to dry. Dialing in that liner fabric was pretty important. We really liked that fabric, so we used it for the full crotch gusset, and that adds a ton of breathability. And then we also have that same jersey mesh on the outside. The shorts have a drawstring, an elastic waistband, two hip pockets, and then on the right side, there's like a little key pocket. The shorts have an eight inch inseam. The hem of the shorts ends a above the knee by a couple inches, depending on how tall you are. They're meant to fit roomy enough to be unrestrictive, but not baggy. The, the leg extends a little bit farther right behind the knee, just for some added sun protection. We wanted to have enough room in the hip and the buttocks area so that there is unrestricted mobility. They're a little bit longer in the inseam, provides more protection in the leg. And I would say they're probably a little bit more durable so they can withstand the backcountry conditions that they'll be exposed to. I paid a lot of attention to dialing in the right rise because the rise and how tight or loose the shorts are can affect the process that's going to start developing uncomfortable chafing. While we're refining how the shorts fit, getting feedback from people internal within the company and external, doing just a lot of testing, getting out there, putting on miles in the shorts. This is, you know, over the period of more than a year, the finalizing or culminating field testing of the Skyline Shorts was the UNA Highline Trail, which is like a 105 mile hike across the UNA Mountains. The selected colors, the range of sizes. From there, I mean, the, the design, the development process of the shorts was basically complete.